We're headed to the library today. And as far as filming goes, well, there's two options. But before that, hello, internet friends. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi, and I'm on a journey. A journey to get better at vlogging. For the past five days, I have been trying to work on my B-roll and keep plenty of notes to help with my storytelling, or at least get better at planning. And today's plan is to go to the library. I know what shots I want to get. I have my little list here. And I have tried to break up my shots that I want to get into a storyline in and of itself. It's a very simple one, but that's great for B-roll. We're going to be looking at the aisles for an establishing shot, some images of me picking out a book, then me reading the book, and then the end will be me closing the book. So beginning, middle, and end. Find the book, read the book, be done with the book. <laughs> easy, right? I hope so. The thing that won't be easy though is that this is a public space and I am quite nervous when it comes to filming in public spaces. Also, this is a government public space and so if they tell me not to record, it's going to be 100% do not record. And with filming in the library, I basically have two options. One, I can ask them and show them my shot plan so that they know there's no shots that will be including other people and it won't be disruptive. Or two, I don't ask, I just do it, try to be as discreet and if they ask me to stop, then stop and apologize. And I'm gonna go with plan two. Everything in my head is screaming, go ask permission first. But I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos about how to film in public. And they're all kind of advising that option two for filmmaking is the better choice. For one reason, it's gonna take people more steps to tell you not to do something. So if I go up to them and ask them, all they have to do is say no. But if I'm already doing the thing, they have to decide whether or not they care, get up and then come talk to me. Also, even if you do tell them your shot plan, there's no guarantee that they know that you're not gonna be disruptive. Like how are they gonna know that your shots aren't gonna interfere with other people unless they are seeing you do it in action? So if you're being discreet, not being disruptive, most people are not gonna care what you're doing. They'll look at it and go, oh, that's odd. Kind of probably giggle in their head and then move on with their day. But if you ask them before, not only are you giving them an opportunity to easily say no, but even if they do say yes, now they have to make sure that they're observing you. Even subconsciously, they're gonna be watching what you're doing and that's giving them more work regardless. So if everything goes all right, today should be fairly easy. I'm just gonna pick out a few books about cinematography, maybe some storytelling ideas. There are plenty of resources on YouTube, but somehow sometimes books just sit differently in your brain like you hearing it in the way you would speak to yourself because you're narrating the words sits differently, if that makes sense. So since I need to go to the library and try and find books anyways, I thought this was a good plan. And I do think I am getting better about my planning even after what? Is this day six? Yeah. I've thought about what I want to shoot, the storyline of the shoot, what shots to get, and how to approach them respectfully and hopefully with no trouble. And I have a backup plan. So if someone says, hey, we don't like this, well within their right, first off, can never get angry about that, but it makes it a lot easier to be less disappointed if I have a backup plan, which I learned from my rainy day. There's a park nearby within walking distance. So I'll just grab some shots from there if that's the case. And I do have some shot ideas because I know where I'm going and what the park features. So I've got a backup plan for a backup plan. So fingers crossed that this goes according to at least one of the plans. I also want to show you guys before we leave, I picked out kind of a romantic looking outfit. I don't have a lot of clothes, so I wanted to sit and the chair wasn't there. I don't have a lot of romantic looking clothes. A lot of my stuff is athletic wear right now. Tank tops, leggings, spandex pants. It's just the easiest fit for me right now. But I did want to keep in mind the idea of who I'm going to be shooting, which is me, and it going with the whole romantic theme of the library that I want to capture. It is the best I could do. So I did put some thought process into that, which I usually don't. And then the last planning thing is that I forgot to get a thumbnail for yesterday's video, even after reminding myself to do that, and I forgot. I don't know why these thumbnails are so hard. I, I think it's because in my head, I'm like, oh, I can just screenshot something within the video, but, I, but it hasn't been working out real great. So remember your thumbnail. I wrote it like three times to try and remember it. Let's see if I do today. Also should mention, this is probably gonna be the only speaking part right now, unless things go awry, because talking in a library is one of the best ways to call attention to yourself. So we're gonna be real quiet. 